with Jesus. Jesus wants me to live an abundant human life. He wants me to have riches. He wants me to have more children so that I can bring them up in the Christian family values. I don't remember Jesus ever saying that what I want you to do is go get married, have families, have children, and together bring all of them and I will take them into the kingdom of heaven. He only spoke to individuals that said the only way out of here is for you to know that as an individual that environment is not for you. That tie that binds you to the human kingdom is not for you. If you know it is not for you, then come to me and my Father will feed me information that can nourish you and help you overcome this world and will leave this world and will go to my Father's kingdom. Remember, we're not talking about a spiritual kingdom. No clouds, no harps, even though we are talking about in the heavens. But the heavens are no more spiritual than when you go out at night and look at the heavenly bodies and see them. They are there. They are physical. They even move in spacecrafts. Even my father's kingdom moves in spacecrafts. You could say, oh, my goodness, that's, that's outrageous. Well, you don't like the illustrations of chariot of fire. You don't like the illustrations that are in your religious literature that tells of spacecrafts, of my father's kingdom. Cloud of light. They didn't know what else to call it. Even when they saw angels that they said had wings, how else can they say they might have might as well said they fly. That didn't necessarily mean they had feathers on their back. It could mean that they came in a flying object and they came out of that flying object and that Jesus when they saw him ascend he went up into that cloud of light. Now I'm not trying to make a deal out of a piece of transportation but a craft belonging to the level above human is much more than a piece of transportation. It is a workstation. It is a place of service to the level above human. These that are leaving this kingdom level to go with me to my father's kingdom, to my father's house, these will not go into houses on some planet like Earth and reproduce and have families and sit and watch television and make scrambled eggs. They're going to be in service for whatever need the level above human, the kingdom of heaven, has for them. And the tools they use, the workstations that they use are spacecrafts, all sizes. Spacecrafts that are so small that a very small crew could fit in them because of the task that requires a small spacecraft. Spacecrafts that are so large you can't even see the outer extremities of them. They would look like something larger than a planet because the station requires that for whatever laboratory work or experimentation is going on, whatever their work is in that kingdom. How can they be effective servants in that kingdom if they're worried about their children or their dogs or their horses or their cats or how much time they have to put in at the rotary? or different clubs or organizations. As individuals, they serve one individual, and that is the, in, the representative of that level that is their chief, that is over them for their assigned task. Just as in the task that we're in now with this classroom, these look to me for everything. I look to my older member to fill me in on what their needs are and how I might be used to supply, to supply their needs. I'm not just talking about their physical needs, but their mental needs, how they can make their change from human into the kingdom level above human. Now, this is not to say that we know that there is a guarantee 
that we will all together go on board a craft in order to leave before the spading under occurs. We will go definitely on board a craft to leave when the spading occurs. You can say, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference is we don't know if we're going to take these flesh bodies on board that craft or if we'll leave these flesh bodies behind. We don't believe that our Father's kingdom has much need for these flesh bodies, but it's possible that a spacecraft will come down and we'll walk on board that craft and they'll take these bodies from us and issue us the ones that belong to that level so that we might begin service. Or it is also possible that part of our test of faith is our hating this world, even our flesh body, enough to be willing to leave it without any proof other than what we have come to know that we have nothing to fear, that we are in good keeping, that we can leave the body that we're in, whether it's by martyrdom, because someone went crazy over our righteous blasphemy, or whatever might happen to the body that we wear, and that we might lose it. We do know one thing. We don't care to cling to the life of this body until it naturally gives up. We don't care to be aborted by the body that we're wearing. We care more to abort it in proof to our Heavenly Father that we're ready to leave this place. We're ready to go into your kingdom. And they, these students, have to say to my father, we trust your son. We trust the one you sent. Even so much that we have no hesitation to leave this place, to leave the body that we have. And we know that whatever happens to us after we leave this body is a step forward from what we have and that we don't care to be here. Earlier in this tape, I spoke to you of three types of individuals that can be salvaged from this respading. One was, I mentioned, those that have overcome enough that they will get an issue of a physical body belonging to the next level and go into service as a crew member working for the next level. A second type of individual that can be salvaged from this planet at this time are those who don't quite reach that point of overcoming when it is time to leave, but are still faithful to the best of their ability in their effort of breaking away and leaving their humanity and tr looking to us, looking to me, looking to my Father, looking to the next level to give them the strength and the understanding of how they can break away more quickly. So wherever they are, to the best of their capability at the time of our exit, whether it is not ready for issue of a next level body, they may have to experience a time in a civilization that is yet to come and do more overcoming of human kingdom, but they will be in the keeping of the kingdom level above human, just as these have been in the keeping of the kingdom level above human, not only here at this time in this generation with me and with T. That T isn't T's name, by the way. Doe isn't Doe's name. I'm not even given to under to tell you what my name is or T's name. T doesn't want you to know it. Okay. I had to put that in there, but just so that you would understand. Okay, the second type of individual that can go into the kingdom of heaven is that one at the time that we leave has not completed that, and therefore the next level brings them back when a civilization is at the point where they can move in and pick up where they left off and do more overcoming so that they will reach issue time by the end of the next civilization that they have overcoming to do in. The third type of soul or individual that can go to the kingdom of heaven 
now with us and be in the keeping of that kingdom 